Um, if you haven't seen it already, go watch his game against uh, Bisu, in fact. I believe on... Ugh, it was on the Twilight Talisman map. Uh, I want to say Byzantium? Was that Byzantium that I'm thinking of? Or is it yet? Yeah, it was in the write-up. I think it was in like the top 25 OSL, or, sorry, MSL game thing or something. If I remember right. Ish. Anyway. In the top left is the blue Protoss. We will have Sang uh, here on Neo J. And in the bottom left as the Teal Terran, we will have Iris. So, PVT on J. Generally, see lots of greedy stuff from both players. 12 nexing, 14 CCing. All that good jazz. Or just one rocks expanding, which is fine as well. Basically, a good fast expand map. And we shall see what they do. Yeah, what's up, white guys? I think that guy in the cap is the one who held up my name on a sign yesterday. I'm not sure. I think that's him. Looks a teeny bit like Noni, which makes me even happier. And this Bulgarius, as always. Yeah, what's up, Bulgarius? <laughs> they put him on camera every day now because he's just going to all the pro league matches. And every time the camera guy sees him, he's blown away by how awesome he looks. I mean, I'm blown away as well. Not gonna lie. So, I have a little uh, mining efficiency depot here. It always intrigued me how people discover little cute things like that um, to optimize their, their builds and their play, like that depot placement. <coughs> like, I'm sure some random guy just came up with it. He was like looking at the SCV mining in one game. He's like, oh, these freaking SCVs, man. They keep taking stupid. Path. Let me just like build a building there. I mean, Protoss actually do that occasionally too. You can build like if uh, if sometimes you're on certain maps, your probes actually like go behind the minerals for some reason. So you can like build a pylon in the way to stop it. I think like uh, uh, match point. I think sometimes it happens, or maybe they fix that. I want to say match point or or a similar tile set map. Maybe Andromeda. I don't know. I remember there was some map where I, like every time I landed on it, my probes would be stupid and go in the back. It's like ah, stop it. <coughs> anyway, uh, looks like we have a little uh, ghost of SimCity here from uh, from Iris. Basically, that little gap will allow Marines to micro against zealots all day. Of course, as you can see, Marines can fit through there, and zealots are a little bit too chunky. Uh, let's go through. So you can do a little back and forth micro. I like how he's actually positioned it next to the gas as well, so that makes it even harder for zealots to run around and, and snipe stuff. And the factory, of course, in range of everything. Um, and that's, you know, th th this kind of building placement, it looks, it doesn't look particularly planned out or smart, but there's actually a lot of thought that goes into this. Because, like, sometimes players will actually build that factory too far away from that little barracks depot wall. And then it kind of defeats the purpose, because if you do get early zealots in your base, which there is going to be one in just a second here, uh, even if you can micro your marines around there, this zealot can just walk over to your factory and snipe the SCV that's making that, and that's super annoying. So, you know, you definitely want to uh, kind of keep these things in mind. So just throw your buildings down willy-nilly. So you can see here, the zealot he kind of sees what's going on here, and look at that, look at that! Perfectly placed so that there's enough space for machine shop. Wow. Very, very nice. I like it. Love me my building placement. Anyway, two green ranges on the way in. Oh, proxy factory! It's not so much proxy, it's actually not that much closer to the uh, to, to the pre space, but it's definitely a hidden factory here. Uh oh. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! So we actually have a two fact coming out here for Iris. And uh oh, he's got a mic with these marines, while though against these zealots and Dragoon. Dra 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 I don't know when Dragoon became a tongue twister, but. Oh man, this is a little bit troublesome. That SimCity's not going to do anything against that Dragoon. The Dragoon is quite beefy. He can take a lot of shots from the Marines, but it looks like uh, he will back up now that he's lost his shields. going to probably wait for a second Dragoon to pop out. Um, the Machine Shop is now spinning. 
Most likely going to be spider mines here for uh, for Iris, and this is actually going to be really bad now that I think about it, because uh, Sang is being super aggressive with his dragoons. So those vultures that come out of that second factory can actually run in lay spider mines like in the reinforcement path, and then so any reinforcing dragoons will run over mines, but also these dragoons that are retreating will also run over spider mines, and then the vultures will like run into the main, and oh man, this is going to be really bad for the protoss. Like the last thing you want when there's like a proxy factor on the map is to be ultra aggressive with your dragoons. Uh, but, I mean, there's not that many marines left. Iris needs to be a bit careful here. See, he's lost all his marines. The marines are what you need to buffer for the Z-Shank. Like, Z-Shanks are good against Dragoons, but, you know, in this early game situation, you really want uh, a good number of marines to be tanking the damage from the Dragoons and then letting your tank shoot from behind, because your tank just outranges everything. Uh, and then if the Dragoons get too close, then they take a lot of damage from the marines, because marines actually have decent DPS. Uh, it's just that... Um, they don't have very much range, and they're kind of like they're kind of slow without stim. So, uh, so the dragoons will, will basically be able to out micro them all day, unless you can force the dragoons in with your siege tank. Anyway, so it looks like uh, the units in the main are gonna be defensive. And look at this, laying spider mines in the retreat path of those dragoons on that little ramp as well. So the dragoons will just definitely, if they just run back, uh, will run into those. And it looks like saving a couple spider mines each. Now gonna lay them at the natural. It looks like pre uh, Sang very smartly leaving one dragoon to hold position on his ramp here. I don't know if he suspects something. I think he definitely suspected something with how uh, with how defensive uh, uh, Iris was being and how like few units he had. Because you gotta be a little, little bit suspicious about what Iris was, what Iris was doing there at the front. Like uh, he didn't really continue making that many Marines uh, to support that that you know s supposed FD push. Um, and he kind of was like, I don't know, it, just something definitely smelled fishy here at the front. But unfortunately for Sang, he's still gonna lose a lot of probes here at the natural, and his uh, his runes rather at the front are still gonna get pushed back. And you see, when they run back though, they are gonna run into spider mines. It looks like he's just gonna stand and fight. Uh, no, just picks off that last uh, sea shank and will retreat here. But his Nexus is taking serious damage from these Vultures, actually, because his uh, his Observatory is not up in time. He, it looks like he went for the Nexus and then two additional Gateways and then the Robo or something like that. So he's actually having to use Dragoons to clear these Spider Mines, but oh man, he desperately needs an Observer. It looks like he actually smartly pulled that uh, that third Dragoon there from the Natural and moved it around the side. So he actually managed to dodge those Spider Mines that were in the way. So it's good foresight by him, but it looks like it'll get snapped off by those Sea Shanks. Uh, as it comes back anyway, and the Observer is now coming out, but it looks like he might lose a Nexus just to the Vultures, in fact. Very unusual to see, Vultures do very little damage to buildings, but oh, is he gonna get it? It looks like he's gonna lay a few more spider mines here, and the tanks actually siege up. He gets the Nexus as well, and now the Dragoons are shooting uphill. Sang, who thought he was in a good position with that early Dragoon pressure, is now in serious trouble, and oh no, the mines even all get dragged down there, losing three Dragoons. Now the Vultures running in, gonna lay mines all over the Dragoons and the Gateways. Even with the Observer out there, there's just not enough Dragoons to deal with all this, a zealot there, gonna try and uh, tank some damage, but oh no! The last Dragoon survives, but the gateways are all mined up, he cannot get reinforcements out, now the tanks are gonna siege up in the main base. Iris is two fact, is looking like it's just gonna kill Sang right here. Sang unfortunately delayed his robo a little bit too much, was a little bit over aggressive with those Dragoons, and is now paying the price. I mean, you can't really even fault him. You know, this is a good map for early uh, Dragoon pressure as well with that reverse ramp. Uh, I mean, look, it's a perfectly fine strategy. And oh, tries to save those Dragoons by pulling them into a shuttle, but was not did not react in time there. Was not fast enough. Is now losing all the probes in his main. He is completely dead here. But of course, he wants to stay in the game because if he loses this game, then uh, Air Force Ace is going to take this uh, Brutal best of three. He needs to win it to take it to a game three, but he is not going to win it here. Iris, the Berserker Terran, is about to take him down, and the Zealot doesn't make it into the shuttle. Nothing is making it into the shuttle. Okay, finally a Dragoon makes it in. It's like way too late though. He was like trying to be cute and pick shit up, but this wasn't working. Oh um, uh, anyway, gonna drop a couple of Dragoons on the Siege Tank, so that will pick it off, but, you know, he's already lost all his probes, so... Yeah... Sounded like three probes. Oh god, run! <laughs> Those two spider mines. You knew the Korean combat is freaking out, they're like, MINE MINE MINE! MINE! Does, wait, is, does he really just not have any probes? I think he picked up the probes in his shuttle now. I think I think Sang is actually reduced to the point where he just has probes and a shuttle, and he's trying to secure his main so he can mine again. Oh man, this is just kind of sad. Come on, Sang. GG.
There's the GG, and Iris takes game number two. Air Force A smacking down Team 8 here. Look at this. 2-0 to start, with one of those being Jadon. A win against Jadon, wow. Great start for Air Force A's. Uh, but of course it's not over yet. They still have to win uh, some StarCraft 2 matches. So let's see how they do.